AFC as well. We talk about the AFC being loaded. The path to the Super Bowl still seems a little bit easier in the NFC, especially when you look at the quarterbacks they've got over there in the AFC. So, Tom, Derek Carr closing in on a deal with the New Orleans Saints could get done officially very shortly. You good? How are we feeling about Derek Carr? Yeah. Franchise QB. Franchise QB, you will sign him up. Tell this one. You know it's like a fact when Mars coming to land at this point. All right, and two players, really. Have you even looked at the news today? Did you get the text for it? No. Then, you're like 45 bucks off on the contract. Isn't the fucking tag deadline at 4 p.m. today? I think so. Which I think they said they're going to wait for that. I don't know, so you got an hour and 15 before you guys are once again. But. Well, All I gotta say is the Falcons have lost to us, or I think, eight times with Taysom Hill at quarterback, Andy Dahl in that quarterback, and who's the other boy? Um, Lamar Jackson is a blend of all those guys. You just oh, wow. Well, well, wait. Except he's missing. <laughs> you know, I mean, so are both of those guys. <laughs> That's what I said. They're just. Do you know how fast he's gonna fly on that turf? Baltimore grass or turf? Actually, they've got a lot of knees ripped up. Maybe they're turned I was about to say, <laughs> we saw what happened to them two years ago. Convert the Ravens from synthetic turf to natural grass. I no wonder if Jackson's been terrible there. In my mind, he's been a Falcon since last week. Lamar will be a Falcon by this time next, next week. By next week's vlog, I'll have a Falcons Lamar Jackson jersey on my body. That's a guarantee. Sean Payne's come back to the Saints. Sure. <laughs> You're going to feel stupid. <laughs> Y'all heard it first. NFC South champs, run this back, run this back next year, run this back, watch. When you're all behind Ritter, he's not a fucking quarterback. <laughs> Sexy P, what do we think about Lamar? Falcon, no Falcon? I'm leaning Falcons. Too much buzz. I think the Ravens are going to tag him. Falcons are going to offer him too much money. Ravens are going to say fuck it, and they're out. Falcons get him. Well, now it's official. Judge has decided. What did he say? He said he's a Falcon. He's a Falcon, right? Yeah. yeah. The dishonorable ruled him a Falcon. Falcons are going to offer too much money. 250 million guaranteed. 250 guaranteed? That's my number. 250. Watch it happen. I think I'm going to get a Derek Carr jersey myself. Don't do that. Yeah, man. No one's do that. When you start seeing him being the second coming of the Breeze, but better, with a better arm, but <laughs> better, <laughs> more mobility. <laughs> More ridiculous on a large Think defense. about it. Bro. Raiders didn't have a defense, and he's the best fourth quarter comeback quarterback. They saw the sites season. that you could do custom jerseys at? I'm done with this. <laughs> You're fucking for used car shit. It's, it's gonna go seven and nine. Yeah. Eight and nine, whatever. You're gonna miss the playoffs, and they're just gonna delay their rebuild another. Do you know what the Falcons record was last year? Uh, seven and nine? Probably eight and nine. Does that even add up? Seven and ten? You thought we won eight games. They seven. Seven and ten. That's pretty good. For a team without a quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, you had Lamar to the mix, he's worth at least six wins. Flipped out, we're 13 and four probably. Possible first round buy. NFC is up for grabs anyways. If you don't get Lamar, is there a quarterback in the draft class you want? Uh, Not at the, pro I think it's gonna go Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, or flip that. It's, it's, I think it's gonna go, hmm. I think Indy's gonna trade up to one, and they're gonna take either Bryce Young or Stroud, Whoever they don't take, Houston will take the other of those two. And then A. Rich will probably go three. I don't, I, I'd rather, I, honestly, I wouldn't hate Richardson, but then again, we're gonna have to wait for like a year or two. Who has the third pick? The Cardinals. Right. No, they'll probably move them. Maybe they don't take them. Maybe whoever's fourth. I think someone like Carolina trades up at four or something like that, three or four. And then the Raiders will take whoever's left out of the quarterbacks at six or seven. Maybe Seattle will take them at six. We're gonna have to trade up. And the only two I'd actually want to trade up for would be Young or Stroud, and I don't think we're going to trade up to one or two. Wouldn't so, play Rich? They can be perfect in that system. But he's not ready to fucking play, though. Like, we're waiting four years to see Arthur Smith's system. Like, he's not going to be the starting quarterback for us this year. And this is the statement from the Ravens Executive Vice President General Manager Eric DaCosta saying, having not reached a long-term deal with Lamar Jackson, we will use the franchise tag. I there believe have been many her. Instances I don't know who she is, but I believe her. What'd she say? For league sources, the Ravens have placed a non-exclusive franchise tag on Lamar Jackson at 32 mil. The Ravens said we, we have used the franchise tag on quarterback. The Ravens just put that out. 
sleeper just what? put that message up. Non exclusive? It's non exclusive though. There's just two types. Yeah, they didn't, Ravens didn't say. The non exclusive is big because that basically puts the ball in our court. Pretty much, I think. It's so weird how, like, almost a year later we're doing this again. What do you mean? Like, no. Al Pitts, five minutes ago, tweeted, it's about to get scary in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Dot, dot. Zip lip emoji. Sean Watson is expected to waive his no trade calls and join the Atlanta Falcons. Per source, the trade should be announced in the next. I might tear a trap right now. I might tear a fucking trap. Or is Tony? I'm gonna beat his ass. Yeah. We didn't fucking get him. We didn't get him. The Saints didn't get him either. The fucking Browns got him. Sean Watson had decided he wants to play for the Cleveland Browns in a stunning change of events for sources. Watson has informed the Houston Texans he's now willing to waive the no trade clause in his contract to be dealt with. What a fucking loser. <laughs> this one's a lot. I think if they weren't able to meet on something. Watson was never a good fit for us. We're too good of people. As no, the, the whole NFC South didn't want that, man. That was just... They're, they're all cities that just didn't need that flat. Oh shit, if the Ravens decline the offer, they get two first round picks from that team. So, yeah, so the this has been no. This year and next year first. It's fucking fine, we're the eighth pick. We're gonna get some fucking bullshit ass Miles Murphy, the end ass motherfucker, Will Levis or some shit. Yeah, Lamar Jackson is worth two first round picks easily. But Atlanta's got fat pockets right now. How much do you think Falcons will give us? What he wants. 250. I think at this point it's fucking blind check. Like you have you have, how often do you get the chance to sign an MVP quarterback? Never. They might not want to risk him going away this time. Like somebody like which is again, we Watson had too much damage over him, but like dang, I can see them doing that. Again, I still feel confident in car, yo. I'm sorry, I do. This is not about Derek Carr. It's about Derek Carr. Fuck about Derek Carr. Derek Carr's about to just drive all over the path and for this. This should be a meme. These quarterbacks are never available for signage. Unless they come with crazy bag. Watson, one, not an MVP can. He's not an MVP. Two, he was dealing with fucking 48 sexual assault cases. Yeah. Not the same. It's not the same. Dudes are not built the same. The letdown will be the same, though. I'm here for it. No. One minute later. What do you mean? What, what happened? Diana Rossini, the Atlanta Falcons will not be pursuing QB Lamar Jackson per sources. No way, ha! man. <laughs> no Derek way. Carr driving up. Hey, just gonna hit again. All over the NFC yeah, South. This is the worst day of my life already. All over the NFC right. South. Dude, your Lamar Jackson shit didn't even last a day. Dude, are you kidding? At least last year, Watson was like a week long Watson I don't fest. Trust Diana Rossini. <laughs> but you trust the other Diana, whatever her name was? She's an idiot. <laughs> Yo. Who's the source you do trust? Settlement? Yeah. I trust, I trust Jack overall. Come on, man. Come on. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to quote tweet it and say uh, the Atlanta Falcons will be pursuing Lamar Jackson. So somebody process? tweeted yeah. you? Is that what happened? <laughs> Sexual. What happened to your ruling? She tweeted it and uh, it's still happening. It's still happening. happening. It's still happening. We don't fuck with Diana. All my homies yeah, hate Diana. Bro, if it doesn't fit my narrative, it's false. That's just the way it goes. And Lamar Jackson is going to be a Falcon. So that's the narrative. That's what we're going with. Yeah, Falcons got big dreams. They've always had. They thought they were going to get the Super Bowl 283. Big dream. This is fucking so stupid. It's right there for us, too. Right there for us. She really waited. Mm. Honestly, like, I respect that journalism. She waited for the hype to build up for like 12 hours and straight and then immediately was like, I have the scoop on it. Atlanta Falcons not pursuing QB. No one trusts her sources though. This was super personal from Diana. <laughs> they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. If we don't get Lamar, Anthony Richardson at eight. You got Ritter. I don't know what to do. Anthony Richardson at eight? <laughs> Anthony Richardson at eight? Y'all got Ritter, bro. Y'all got Ritter. Bro, Ritter's nah, fine. Give us uh, Jameis. Now you want Jameis, huh? It's I time. just said it fucking 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I wanted no, James I'm saying before back. last year, y'all claimed it. Clown on Jameis. I didn't even want Lamar. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the worst part is the jersey's probably on the way, isn't it? The <laughs> custom look Jackson number eight, it's on the way. I don't understand what the logic behind this is. I don't either. How are we not pursuing Lamar Jackson? Is it because we already have Maybe it's because we have him. Mm. Mm. Big brain. <laughs> Falcons fans need to lose you, bro. 
So if we, in theory, pursued Deshaun last year, why the fuck are we not pursuing Lamar? That's what I'm saying. Right now. The logic doesn't add up. Makes no sense unless, unless they feel really strongly about one of the quarterbacks in this class. Mm -hmm. Did they say Ritter is the quarterback? I don't, I don't care what the question is. Did they say Ritter is their guy? What else are they gonna say? <laughs> yeah, they don't really have a choice. Like yeah. Mariota's off the team. It's just Ritter and <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Y'all got Ritter. I don't know what he's <laughs> upset about. He's great. You love Ritter as a divisional rival, don't you? <laughs> Yo. Uh, this makes more sense. Someone tweeted, my gut feeling is the Ravens would match a fully guaranteed contract unless it was an absurd number. Their concern should be if Atlanta makes a deal with a first year cap number that's impossible to function with. Uh. All right, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> When's the rookie draft guy going live? It's supposed to be Monday. We finished pretty much everything. Chris just has to tie up a few loose ends. The rankings are pretty much done. Wildly inaccurate. Yeah, obviously, but you won't be able to call me out on it until like 2027, so it doesn't matter at that point. At that point, I'll just say a new metric came out that we didn't know about in 2023. I can't blame me. Doing my best, which isn't good. Should be live Monday. You have five days. You have one day to get your pre order in. What are we doing? Oh, Steve's buying a laptop, right? He said. Yeah, he did. I really want to know what you did to this fucking thing that Apple sent it back. If Apple sent it back the laptop, you know you like. I feel like they're just being cheap. They just didn't want to give us that. Uh, they were already being cheap with what they were giving it to us. They could have probably resold that for three times as much. Yeah, I really don't know. It was working fine. <laughs> it was. You don't want me to do a deep dive on there. I don't think I do because I don't know how much I actually erased. If anything, that's why they sent it back. They were like, bro, we f <laughs> you didn't back. erase anything. Yeah, but that's probably what happened. You probably didn't follow any instructions. Can I go home? No. <laughs> I, have a, I got a place to be. I get, all right, let's go. Ha, ha, ha. All right, let's go. <laughs> Fucking square up. We've done, we've been here before. Got fucking. If you're lucky, we got no film left. Next time, I'll get you. Making some Connect Four boards. You're not allowed to see this. These are tough, man. I'm getting out of control. Actually, with these, I'm, I think I'm overthinking them. Sexual, you making some trivias? Yeah, making a new game. Oh, yeah? I'm looking. You won't I... get any information from it, so. Are those the answers on the side? This is the board. No, they're not. Looks there's like no a honeycomb. Board. Yeah. Is that what it's supposed to be? No, but I guess that's a good way of looking at it. You can do what it's called. Climbing the honeycomb. As long as it's not degrees of separation. It's actually now. six degrees of separation, so you have to play like seven times. <laughs> Great. Each of these little circles is, a, is their own six degrees of separation. Are you playing that by yourself? Yeah. No, I'm not playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm so out on that. We're busy. We're busy making oh, better trivias. He's, make, he's making videos, I'm not doing that. Everyone's out here making trivia, that's what I was doing. Actually, dude? Actually, that's what I was doing, dude. So, were you making trips? Yeah. <laughs> we're just a we're just a big <laughs> trivia brand now. Big trip day. <laughs> Actually, I made a new game. Oh, did you? You yes. think you're fucking cool making a new game? Nah, it's fucking, it's so bad. You guys are gonna be terrible. I'm just gonna tell you all the answers after like three minutes probably. Actually trying to, uh, getting on a call tomorrow with, I don't even know what to call it, but I, I came across this this website called fantasycalc.com and they pretty much, so they built this site and it's really smooth and it's for dynasty leagues and it's relatively customizable from like standard all the way up to full PPR. And it's got trends, it's, it's kind of like keep trade cut. I don't know if that was like their inspiration or if they, built it based off of that, but they have a trade calculator kind of on the site. And it's probably based off those rankings and trade values automatically generated from 600,000 trades from real fantasy football leagues, which I don't really know how they decipher between real and fake. I think right now there's just like a very, a huge massive gap in the market as it relates to dynasty from like an information sourcing standpoint, 
as well as products, there's a very clear gap. I think like when you say Dynasty, or if you say Dynasty ranking, you say Dynasty anything, I don't think there's like one clear thought that goes through anyone's mind from content to product to information. And we already have the difficult part of that, which is distribution and like content and marketing, but we need to close the gap on the product side. And I think I've come to like one, one we need a, like a trade calculator. Cause I think the most often questions we get asked or the questions we get asked most often are around trades that get done in Dynasty, right? Like that's probably the most asked question. People from like Dynasty Leagues don't necessarily ask like sit starts, right? It starts to get to like redraft focus and people only care about moving players and their teams and shit. And I think a lot of people that we bring into Dynasty come at it from a very like baseline level knowledge. And then once you get into it, a lot of stuff happens mainly around trade. So long fucking way of saying that I really want to get a trade calculator into our product line, but it's an extremely difficult product to actually build out and maintain because you have to have a lot of a lot of like logic and theory behind it, right? It's not just like a, let me insert a number for each player and allow them to gain value or lose value based on like reports. And even if you wanted to do it that way, you have to be so uh, vividly on top of it. Because if one report comes out and you're like, I wanna move this guy down my rankings, it's not as simple as just like moving a guy down the rankings. There's a lot that goes along with it. I've kind of started to look at something like this as more of like, um, you know, take yourself out of like sports or fantasy space, right? If you're like a company that needs to, you wanna add a service or a product to your line, what do you do? You go and look at what other products are already built. Like a big company, and we're not a big company, obviously we don't have like the financials to go out and like acquire a company, but I think there's probably something here where there could be like an acquisition of a tool like this that comes into our line. So if you're like Google, right? And you have like a mini, uh, some company comes out like ChatGPT, but probably to a lesser extent because they're worth so much at this point. But like ChatGPT comes out, or you know, a much smaller company comes out with this piece of technology that's kind of like, would be perfect for the suite of tools that they offer already. And they're like, hey, we have to go down that path eventually. This company already built out the infrastructure for the tool that we're gonna spend the next six months building out. Why don't we just acquire them? Why don't we just like bridge the gap on that six months, pay money up front for what it's valued, and then we already have that as part of our tools or our suite or whatever. And that's kind of the way I'm looking at some of these things right now, because I don't, I've, I've been talking about this and thinking about this for honestly years at this point, but I've never really made a tangible significant move on it because it always, every time I like get into it, I'm like, it's difficult. I don't even know where to start. The people that run these things are way smarter than me. They're developers. They're people with like math backgrounds coming from school probably with, you know, that kind of logic that I just don't have. So I'm trying to let people who do what they do well, do what they do well. Long winded way of saying I'm getting on a call because on the top of this site, like I just came across this site less than a week ago through a podcast, the Dynasty podcast I was listening to and they were referencing Fantasy Calc and I was like, I've never heard of this, but I like the podcast, so I kind of like trust where their sources are. And right on the top of the website, literally says, note from creator, I was recently laid off from my early stage startup. If your company is hiring a remote or Chicago-based backend software developer, please get in touch at you know his Twitter, his Reddit username or whatever. Um, so I was like, that feels kind of like uh, I should probably reach out to them. We'll be touching. We'll, we will be touching in on them. So that's one of the things, you know, I talked about, I've talked about in a few recent vlogs, like if we are focused on three pillars, fantasy content, which we've been putting out six days a week now, I think between myself and Noah, we've been doing a pretty good job with the content, great fantasy products. This is like the next step in trying to acquire or understand or build out something similar in this line and then documenting the process, which you're fucking doing right now. We are telling you what we're doing. We're documenting the process of us trying to do those three pillars. So I think that was like a good full circle show into what I'm thinking, what we're working on and trying to take a shortcut. You know, it's nice to build things in house, but at the same time, when they start to get to a level of expertise, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And I've, I've spoken with our developer, Chris in house many times about this. It's probably out of his range of what he's capable of doing, or at least within a time frame, I'd like to have this added to what we're doing. So it's like, yeah, if we gave it like two years, cool. But in two years time, we'll probably be 15 other fucking companies that have a tool available like this. Uh, I just think it's a really good value offer to the people that listen to our content, watch our content. So we'll keep you posted on how that goes. How'd it go? Really good, actually. We're gonna make billions this year. Damn, billions? You're gonna get any of That's horrible, we're supposed to be trillions. I don't need to get you on the call next time then. I could've got us trillions. Yeah, just like, 
two brothers that just fucking live out in Chicago, Indiana, and just fucking code, put together a cool website. It's funny because you work with like, you got calls with tech people. I mean, with products, there's two sides of things, right? There's like the actual product, and then there's like getting the product out to the masses. So we have that part. We have like the marketing and distribution. And every time you talk to someone who's like in the tech space, they have no idea how to do that. It's simple. It's just like through content, obviously, but they don't do that naturally. In the same way that we don't build products naturally. So you get on a call with them and they're like, oh man, we spent like, they're like, we spent five years building this website out and they probably have like very minimal traffic, you know, over a five year span. And then you can look at our social account and in their head, they're like, man, we've been building for five years, we partner with these guys, we can get in front of a hundred thousand people like that, you know? So it's like, seems like a, a good partnership right now. I, I bring Chris on the calls as a developer because he understands the back end stuff. Cause some of those, they start talking about data science and coding. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening anymore. Like Chris, just make sure, make sure I'm not getting fucking swindled right now. Do I have him? The other guys get off the call and I was like, good or bad vibes. He's like, we're good. So, so we're good. We're in business. Let's play some fucking trivia. You don't have enough footage to fucking do the vlog already? I don't know. I don't know what I got. I literally have nothing. I have nothing to say to you. Except those fucking tank tops. Yo, <laughs> you know, uh, I should have been able to flip the camera on that one. Why are you wearing a tank top? That's a great question. I just put it on. I never wear tank tops. This might be the first time I've worn a tank top in maybe a decade, maybe <laughs> 10 years. I'm, I'm all in on tank tops this summer. That's it. Tank tops and fucking cigarettes. It's the theme of the summer. It looks like you smoke cigs. I want to smoke a Indoors. cigarette now so bad. I just had it on in my apartment this morning and I was like, I'm just going to wear this. I actually just was chilling here like this for like three hours before you came in. And then I, I was about to leave, so I put that on. And now I'm fucking back. Now I'm back. Sleepless. It's a shame I don't have muscles anymore, but whatever. I'm only wearing tanks. We'll expedite tank season starting May 1st. You're not allowed to come to the office unless we're in a tank. I'm so down. Especially for Patterson.